Number 39. How will an increase in temperature affect each of the following equilibria? And then how will a decrease in the volume of the reaction vessel affect each? And then we have letter D out of this bunch. So the first thing is I'm just going to rewrite this a little bit bigger just so that we can work with it better. We have H2 gas plus I2 solid comes to equilibrium with 2 HI gas. Okay. Now, the first thing is when we're doing Le Chatelier's principle, I like to just convert the delta H value that they gave me in terms of heat. So let's just run through this, right? Remember when we did enthalpy way back in, I don't even know, maybe this was chem one for some of you guys, right? But remember, if you have a positive delta H, which is what we have here, right? There's a positive here. This is, maybe I'll just put this like that. This is endothermic. Remember that if the delta H was a negative, it would be exothermic, but endothermic means that you're absorbing heat. And if you're absorbing heat, which side would the heat be on? Yeah, the heat's going to be on the reactant side. If it was exothermic, the heat's going to be on the product side. So that's the difference there. Now, since I wrote the word heat, I can basically pay this no mind, and I need all the information that I need in order to answer any Le Chatelier's principle. Question, right? So there's two here. We need to increase the temp and decrease the volume. What's going to happen? So let's see. Increase the temp. What does Le Chatelier say? Well, if you raise the temperature, right, and it gets hot and it gets hotter and it gets hotter and more hot and hotter, and which one is grammatically correct, I have no idea, but basically it's going to get too hot. And me personally, when it's too hot outside, I'm not outside. I go away from the heat and I go inside. <laughs> so I shift away from the heat and that's what chemical equilibria do. So you have the word heat here. Literally, that's all you got to do. Just worry about that word heat. When it's too hot and you increase the temp, you don't want to go towards the heat. You want to go away from the heat. So you're going to favor this reaction, the forward reaction. So you're going to shift to the right. So what does that really mean? That means that if you're predominantly doing the forward reaction, the products will increase and the reactants will decrease. Now, let's go to the next one. Decrease in volume says now remember, volume is just the amount of space that's inside a container or a reaction vessel. But if you have a decrease in volume, that means that you just have less space than you did before. So if you are downsizing, right, you basically throw away a lot of your stuff, right? You only favor the stuff that's really close to you. And in chemistry world, less space means less moles, not more moles. So we just need to find out which side is the less mole side. But remember, we only care about the gases here. So no solids, no liquids, right? So here's a gas, here's a gas, but here is a solid. I do not care about this compound. I won't add it up in terms of my moles because it's not a gas. Now I just use my coefficients. Well, I see that I have nothing in front of the H2. That means I had one mole, and that's the only gas over here. So I have one mole of the gas on the left-hand side. And then I see that I have a two in front of the HI. So that means I have two moles on my product side. Less space means less mole side. One is less than two. So I will be favoring the left side. So I'm going to be shifting that way. Shifting to the left, which is basically the opposite of what we said before. Right, if now you're shifting to the left, this will increase and this will decrease. I2 basically will remain the same because um, I2 is not in your uh, equilibrium constant. Remember, no solid or liquid in that equation, so we don't care. And that's it. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button and I will see you all later. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.